Hi there, it's Simon Stockhausen. Let's shed some light today on assigning modulations and macros in Falcon, as this is a very deep and complex topic. Let's start with something easy. Um, just drag in a wavetable from here. Let's see which one. Yeah. So, um, we have different kind of macros in Falcon. Either they can be absolute or they can be relative. Um, absolute meaning like when you assign a MIDI controller to a knob, it always will have the full range of that respective parameter. But we can also... Um, program it in relation to a value, which I often do, and I often assign numerous parameters to one macro, which I will show you in a minute. So we have a wavetable. There's already something assigned here, I don't know why, let's clear the modulation. Let's clear all modulations. So this, so we could now assign this, the wave index, to the mod wheel. Let's use that in full range. That's down here, the slider. And let's set the oscillator to four unison voices, set it to stereo, here's the stereo spread, now let's start with the stereo spread, we set it to zero, detune also, now we assign a macro to stereo spread, so right click, add modulation, Go to Program, select New Macro. Let's first name it. Stereo Spread. And let's set it to 80%, so 0 0.8. Now... And we could actually link that to a bit of detune too. So let's set an, a moderate value for detune. Now assign the same macro to detune but with a different value. So we right click on detune, add modulation, program. Now we select the existing macro up here and choose a value, not too much. Now we could also add a mod mapper so it gets exponential. Let's do that. So the detune really kicks in in the last 30% of the macro. So add a mod mapper. Now we have exponential presets here. Let's try that. It's a bit much. Set it to 40%. So now if you look at the front page, it's already there. Now if we do, just to compare, Let's switch off this macro now and show you the difference. If I assign, here is, a, if you right click, there is assign macro. And if I now use add m new macro, this will always be, it's not even showing down here because it's only showing the tree view. 
this will always be full range. So if you want to check what's happening, right click, edit modulation, macro 2, and there is no way to set a value now because it will always be 100%. So that's the difference between the the addition macro and the modulation macro. That's how it's called. So let's delete that again and go on. Now, wave index we did assign to modulation wheel. Now we can have a wave spread also. As you know, if we, we are now in unison mode with four voices, so we can actually um, play all four waveforms at once if we turn up the wave spread. Let's set it to 50%. Turn down this macro a bit. Now we assign an LFO via right click, add modulation, new LFO. And let's use a sample and hold, a sync sample and hold. So it's a sample and hold. We enable the sync button. Let's set it to, let's do some triplet stuff. So we do triplets, eighth note triplets. Turn up the smooth, maybe. Not too far. Set a range. Turn up the smooth a little bit so we don't hear the clicks. And now we assign a submodulator. Here you see this empty slot because this modulation is now the amount of this modulation we will control with the new macro program new macro macro 3 let's name it vt spread mod so on the front page i misspelled it Wave table spread mod. Here we go. Well, yeah, hmm. I'll do that later. <laughs> so, now let's change, uh, let's also use the face distortion. <laughs> Turn that down again. So you can always access this also from the edit modulation page if you don't want to switch to the info once you have assigned a macro. It's a bit complicated otherwise. Um, so next step, face distortion. Let's use a triplet stepper. Yeah, why not? Step envelope. Set the amount, let's set it to 60. Now this uh, should be yeah, it's unipolar because we're only modulating in one direction. Now let's set it to triplets, but fast triplets, like 16th notes triplets. Do something intelligent here. Let's set this to 15, not 18. So that will be three quavers of fast sixteenth triplets. So let's 
So a bit of smoothing. Now also here, let's use another sub modulator, a new macro. And name this face dist mod. Okay, and one more. Let's now add a filter and assign numerous things from that filter to the same macro. So let's use a just use a plain, easy low pass, low pass three maybe. So what I often do to um, introduce filter modulation now, first we do yeah, a bit of keyboard tracking. So now let's choose a new macro first to control the cutoff, new macro. Let's call this filter works. Now use a negative value to decrease the cutoff. Let's yeah, this we don't need stereo and that's fine. Okay, now back to the cutoff. So we, we are reducing the cutoff with that macro. Now let's also increase the resonance with, resonance with the same macro. Filter works. Not too much. Like this maybe. So we have two parameters already. And now we can assign maybe the same step modulator, which we are using for the For the phase distortion modulation, we will also use for the filter cutoff. Tuck. Now we've reduced it by what is that? 66 percent. Uh, um, yes, uh, 0.66. The value is. Now we can use like increase the same amount for the modulation. Maybe a little less because we are using keyboard tracking. So the range will not exceed in the top ranges. And use the same sub macro as modulator, like a sub modulator to, to bring in this filter modulation. Filter works. So now, you see, let's bring up the resonance. The attack is a bit very soft. Let's check that. Now we can, yeah, let's do one more. Now for the for the amplitude modulation, we will also use the same macro. So on top of the filter modulation, we will also get a bit of pulsation. So let's choose another new LFO. Set that to uh, ramp. Let's use a ramp down for now. And let's also use fast 16th triplets. Here we are. That sounds strange. Oh no, it's okay, we're getting there. Because, ah, I think maybe I did something wrong, the step envelope, ah, it's not set to retrigger, that's why it's not in, in the groove, you need to set it to retrigger. So whenever you press a new key, all synced modulators will align. 
力Also a bit of smoothing. So in that case, switch off bipolar because it's only modulating in one direction anyway. So bipolar is wrong. It doesn't really make a difference. Falcon sorts it out by him herself. So um, you're getting the hang of it. That's the only macro. That was the absolute macro we don't need. I will delete it later. You know, I think that's enough for today. Enjoy Falcon. Bye-bye.